Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I've got a great drill for you that's going to help you learn an effortless golf swing. All right, so this one's pretty simple, but highly effective. Hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up then click on the button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the little bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips because there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In order to have an effortless golf swing, you don't want to be tightening your arms as you go back into the back swing. So a lot of people when they're getting ready to hit the shot, they're starting to tighten and they take the golf club back too fast, which is locking up their arms. And this is with irons and of course with driver. So what we wanna do, we wanna have our arms, you know, extended, but not tight as we hit the top of the backswing. So I've got a way that you can understand or feel exactly what I'm talking about. So what I want you to do is take out an iron. You know, typically you're going to be working on your swing with a seven iron. We've got driver as well, so we'll do that in a few minutes. But what I want you to do is flip your iron upside down. All right. So here we are. We've got it upside down. Now, what I want you to do is take it back super, super slow all the way to the top. All right, so we're gonna do this three or four times all the way to the top. See how nice and relaxed it is. Oh, okay, and the arms aren't tight in any way. Let's just go to the top. Now what I want you to do, after you've done that three or four times, I want you to go like this and take the club back super fast. All right, when you do, <laughs> you are gonna feel your arms tighten. All right, now, Keep in mind, if you're trying to build an effortless golf swing and you've already tightened your arms here, how are you going to turn them off by the time you hit the ball? It's going to be very difficult. So what you want to try and do is make it to the top of your backswing with your arms already turned off. And don't get me wrong, that's not flopping all over the place. Okay, you don't want to be floppy with it. You don't want to be going like this. Okay, so you just do it very smooth to the top. So you flip your club upside down. You just do a bunch like this. Okay, here I am. Oh, okay. Arms are relaxed. I'm just going to work the club back nice and slow, feeling the strength level in your arms. Then, like I said, do one real fast and you will see that your arms will tighten. So we want to take the golf club back slow enough that we don't tighten by the time we get to the top. All right, with irons and driver. All right, so now once you've kind of got that feeling or let's say that pace, okay, oh, for me, it's this much pace, okay. So now you flip your club the other way and you do a few practice swings at that pace, going slow enough that you don't tighten them. Okay, maybe do a bunch of practice swings like that and then, of course, we're going to hit a ball. So kind of get the feeling. Okay, here we are. Oh, okay, so he's telling me to go a little slower. Okay, good, slow, nice and easy. Okay, arms aren't tightening. Good, got the feeling. Now, once you have the feeling, I want you to just apply it to a shot. All right, so you start with irons first. Just get that kind of sensation. It's for a lot of people, it's going to be a lot slower than what you've probably been doing in the past. So that's going to feel kind of weird, kind of different. You know, when people that have a fast backswing go slow, they don't like it. But like I said, now when you're do doing this, you're recognizing, are you tightening your arms as you go back? All right, so that's something to think about. So then you can determine, okay, this is my pace that I need to go to not tighten. All right, so then you do it with irons first, like I said, and then you can do your driver. Okay, so it's like, okay, same thing with driver. Now it's gonna get harder because 
you know, everybody wants to hit the driver too hard. So you got to go a little slower. All right, so we flipped our driver upside down. Oh, okay. Uh, and you can just do little ones like that just to start, you know. Just do it there, just to, just to stop going like that. Okay, a little easy one. Okay, there we go, up to the top. Okay, good. Okay, here I am. Okay, good. Okay, you can even try one super fast, and you'll see. Your arms will tighten up, and if you're looking for an effortless golf swing, can't do that. All right, so we're just recognizing that sensation and how fast do you have to take it back to not tighten your arms? Okay, so you get that, the feeling of it. And then, of course, you're trying to apply that feeling to your shots. If you have to kind of do a few practice swings, then, oh, okay, do a few practice swings. Okay, good, got it. And then, of course, we're going to apply it to our driver. Okay, that is absolutely killed dead straight. All right, so easy tip, okay? This is a little drill you can be doing. If you find yourself getting fast, you sense that you're tightening up, then go back to the drill. You could literally be doing this out on the golf course. You know, a lot of people say that they get quick out at the golf course. Well, now you know what quick is going to do to your swing. You're going to get tight. Quick is going to be tight, all right, in the back swing. So we're trying to avoid that. So maybe you're out on the, uh, on the course, you know. You're playing along. You get to like number 14. Oh, I'm starting to get a little quick. I'm getting excited. Playing a good round today. Well, just... You know, before you tee off, just flip your club upside down. Oh, okay, I remember. Slow and easy, okay, so I don't get fast and lock up. Okay, slow and easy, got it. Okay, then try to do that for the holes coming in so that you can finish your round without getting quick, without getting locked up. All right, so pretty simple today. You know, it's just getting that feeling. You know, you start locking up, going back. Like, there's no way on earth you're going to turn your arms off when you're hitting that golf ball. And, you know, <laughs> to get an effortless swing, it's got to look effortless. It can't look super fast, you know. So give this one a try, and then you'll see that what level your arms are at so that they don't lock up in the backswing. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.